Hi everyone, just letting you know that I've had to re-record the sound on this video because the previous video sounded crap and I've dubbed it over so my voice won't always match up with my lips. Sorry about that, but it's the best I can do to get the video back up there quickly. Hello and welcome to Back to the Science. I'm Dr. Susan Oliver and I'm a scientist. And apologies to the Cindy fans, but she's at my mum's place at the moment because I had yet another 60th birthday party to attend this weekend. But if you are missing her as much as me, I will have some footage of her at the end of the video. Anyway, let's get on with the science. A favourite talking point of anti-vaxxers is to falsely claim that we are suddenly seeing a tsunami of sudden cardiac deaths in young athletes and then state that it must be vaccines. In this video, we'll be looking at evidence that both parts of this claim are wrong and that anti-vaxxers are just ignorant. But first, let's have a look at an example of what I mean from serial offender Steve Kirsch. He posted this about the tragic death of a 14-year-old boy who had a cardiac arrest while running in Florida. I think this might be vaccine-related. Does any mainstream pro-vax doctor agree with me? I don't think so, Steve. Of course, Steve doesn't even know whether this poor boy was vaccinated. And even if he was, it doesn't really matter because, sadly, young people having cardiac arrests is not new. And this has been shown in many studies from before the pandemic. For example, this study here from 2017 describes a sudden death in the young case registry, which provides valuable incidence data and enhances understanding of the characteristics of paediatric deaths to inform prevention efforts. And this study here from 2016 is a prospective study looking at at sudden cardiac deaths in children and young adults aged under 35. And it estimated the prevalence to be 1.3 cases per 100,000 people per year. Unexplained sudden cardiac death, which was 40% of cases, was a predominant finding amongst persons in all age groups, except for those 31 to 35 years of age where coronary artery disease was the most common finding. And of course, there are also a number of studies documenting that sudden cardiac deaths occur in young athletes, like this one here, which was published in 2009 and documented 1,866 deaths that had occurred between 1980 and 2006 in young competitive athletes in the US. So sadly, sudden cardiac deaths have always occurred in those who are young and those who are athletic and those who are both. So pointing out that a young person has died and suggesting it could be vaccine related is simply pointing out your ignorance of this fact. Of course, some take a slightly different tact and claim we are seeing huge increases like Zeeple here who says, if you all don't think this sudden increase in cardiac arrest cases has to do with vaccines, you're just blind. Weird that the number randomly skyrockets literally one to two years after forceful COVID vaccines, followed by, like you really don't think there is any relation at all, in caps, young healthy athletes people that normally aren't suffering from cardiac arrest, dropping left and right. Okay, okay, guess I'm just a conspiracy theorist. And no, I don't believe in Q, LOL. Yeah, maybe he's just a conspiracy theorist. And then there's this person. 1,700% increase in young athletes' sudden death rate since COVID vaccines. New Mexico State women's soccer player dies suddenly at 20. So are these anti-vaxxers at least right about there being an increase in sudden death in young athletes? Well, that question was answered in a recent study that looked at sudden cardiac death in National College Aid Athletic Association athlete deaths during a 20-year time frame from 1st of July 2002 through to 30th of June 2022. 
And over this time, they identified 1,102 deaths. And they came from a number of different sources, including the National Collegiate Athletic Association Resolutions List, the Parent Heart Watch Database and Media Reports, the National Centre for Catastrophic Sports Injury Research Database, and insurance claims. And for all but 16 of them, they were able to determine the cause of death. The most common cause of death was some sort of accident, which accounted for 50.8% of deaths. Homicides accounted for 8.9% of deaths and suicides 11.6%. 13% of deaths or 143 were classified as sudden cardiac death. So what has happened with these deaths over time? This chart shows the incidence of both non-cardiovascular deaths, which are the blue dots at the top, and sudden cardiac deaths, which are the red dots at the bottom. And the data is shown by athletic year as opposed to calendar year, which means the final dot for both corresponds to the 1st of July 2021 to the 30th of June, 2022. As you can see, there is no trend for non-cardiovascular deaths. And sudden cardiac deaths have slightly declined over the last 20 years. Importantly, there is no increase corresponding with the start of the pandemic, and there is no increase corresponding with vaccination the exact opposite of what anti-vaxxers are claiming. They also looked at the causes of sudden cardiac death, which you can see here. Of particular note, only eight of them were from myocarditis and seven of these were prior to 2020. One of the cases did occur after the first reported COVID-19 infection in the United States, but it was a pattern of myocarditis that is not normally associated with COVID-19. And it apparently also occurred prior to vaccination, although I have got that information secondhand, and so it's not directly from the paper. Now, as with all studies, there are limitations. These include the fact that they may have missed some deaths and also that the cause of 16 of the deaths were undetermined. It is also only looking at college athletes and not those who are younger like school kids. There is, however, another report that does look at both high school and college deaths over 40 years up until spring 2022. Unfortunately, I can't show you any of it without getting express written permission, but I will link to it in the video's description so you can see for yourselves that there is no increase in deaths in high school and college athletes since vaccination. Of course, some anti-vaxxers are a little broader in their claims and don't just claim it is young athletes. They claim that we are seeing an increase in sudden death in all young, healthy people. Like this person who goes by the name of Biggin who tweeted or x or whatever. And this is just not going to line up with what it says at all because I'm just ad-libbing. Anyway, what was introduced in that time period that's seen a worldwide uptick tick in sudden death, an uptick that increased every few months, deaths in young, healthy individuals worldwide. So are these anti-vaxxers right at least? Well, as luck would have it, there is a study from Australia, which is part of the world, looking at just this. This is a study here and it was undertaken in Victoria, which is a state in Australia, and they looked at the incidence of -of out-of-hospital cardiac arrests over time. Let's see what they found. The data they have collected is for what they define as young people, who are people aged under 50, which is incredibly young in my opinion. In this figure, orange is sudden cardiac arrest of unknown cause, yellow is sudden cardiac arrest caused by myocarditis, and blue is all cardiac arrests. The figure also shows COVID cases in green and COVID vaccinations in R pinky red colour. And it's important to note that the COVID cases and vaccinations 
are at different scales to cardiac arrests and to each other. So although it looks like they are similar towards the end of the figure, they actually aren't and vaccinations are over 10 times higher than COVID cases. The figure covers three time periods. The first period is before COVID. The second period is after COVID arrived in Australia, although rates were still very low compared with many other countries in the world. The final time period is after COVID vaccination was introduced in Australia. And as you can see, since the COVID vaccines were introduced in Australia, there has been no increase in overall cardiac arrest, no increase in sudden cardiac arrest from unknown causes, and no increase in cardiac arrest caused by myocarditis. In addition to looking at population level data, they also looked at sudden deaths that occurred within 30 days of vaccination and compared these with the baseline rate. And they found that there was no significant deviation from the baseline profile of causes of young sudden death. And note, this was a, a total of only 38 deaths. So what looks like large differences on the chart are only one or two people. So again, anti-vaxxers are just ignorant of the facts. They are ignorant of the fact that sudden cardiac death has always occurred in young athletes and young people in general, and they are ignorant of the fact that there has been no increase in sudden cardiac arrests in these groups. Will they change their claims when pre presented with facts, or will they just double down? We'll have to wait and see. If you'd like to look further into the data I've presented, I've provided links in the video's description. And please remember this video is about the science, but you shouldn't take it as medical advice. For that, you should speak to your medical practitioner. If you've got this far, thank you for listening. And if you've liked, shared or commented on the video, double thank you because that helps the algorithm and means that more people will see the video. And of course, thank you to everyone who has bought me a coffee or Cindy, who's not here at the moment, a treat. We appreciate your support. We really do. We will be continuing to make videos about the science in the future. So if you'd like to join the cool kids and stay informed, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you.